let's learn more about the squat. If, if, if I had my hand up for what is the most important one out of the things we're gonna go through, this one is gonna help in so many ways. So let me uh, bring this down. Okay. The squat is probably one of the number one core exercises that you can do. I love to see uh, everybody doing squats all the time. Weighted, body weight, partial squats, full squats, whatever works for your body is what you're trying to attain with this exercise. A squat can be performed. Uh, when I teach somebody, when I take somebody through a squat, I'm really looking to see how their hips move as they, and how their shoulders move as they start with a squat position. The easiest thing to do is a little bit, of, I'm gonna step back a little bit so you can see me better, is you're gonna find a natural, comfortable position for you. Not everybody's squat's gonna be the same. Some people will be a little wider, some people will be a little narrow. Whatever is comfortable for you and your knees is where we're going to start. And you simply sit back like you're sitting into a chair. You can reach forward. You can hold your hands in front of you like in a prayer, whatever is comfortable for you. So that's the front view of the squat. And again, my range of motion is going to be different than everybody else's range of motion. I've been doing squats since I was little and never stopped. So I still have my full range of motion, But you may recognize this picture that Dr. Brandon sit out in the uh, link to join the webinar of the little kid squatting. Um, from the side, same motion, make sure the butt goes back, the core stays drawn and tight. This is where the core comes into play and in strengthening the spine and the low back. So we tighten up, we sink the hips back and we drop the hips down into the squat and then we push up through. The last thing to do, squeeze the glutes as you're coming up out of the squat. 